All right, now what I'd like you guys to do is show you an example of a Venn diagram. In this example right now, if you guys remember, we have a universal set, which is the box. That's what this box represents is our universal set. And I denote it with a U up there at the top. Then I have two sets inside of our universal set. So you have A and B. You can also say they're subsets of our universal set. So you have A and B. So now what we need to do is we need to determine, all right, what is in our two sets? So I look at the set A. Everything that's inside of the circle is contained in set A. So therefore, I look and I say, all right, well, 2 is the only number that's inside of the circle A. So if I want to say, what is contained in A? These brackets? Yeah, they just represent brackets. This. They're just showing that the sets are. Yes, you need to make sure that your sets are contained. Then I go and look at set number B. I look at my set B, and then I look at, all right, what are all the elements that are in the circle of B? And I have 8, 2, and 5. You don't need to get fancy with your brackets, but you need to make sure that they're closed. Yes? Uh, I look at A. Like, 2's not in A, it's in the middle. Yeah, but is it still in A though? Oh, oh, so the middle counts as both. Yeah. Oh. Is it still in A though? Yeah. Yes. So that's the main point. Now let's go and I left these definitions up here because now we're doing examples. Now we're going to get a little more detail. Now we have A intersect B. So now I need to look at all right. So the intersection. What did the intersection mean again? I had that in that last previous note card. Two. Intersection of elements is what the elements have in common. So what do these two elements have in common? Two. So therefore, this one is only going to be two. Then the last section, hold on. The last section is union. It's going to be the combination or addition of the elements between two or more sets. So now, what would be the union between B and A? Two, five, eight. Two, five and eight. It's going to be everything that's everything that's in A plus everything else. So it's in B. So for this example, it's going to be two. Five and eight. Sit down. Does everyone understand? All right. So that is how you guys go ahead and make a set. That is the basics of set notation with two circles.